Hello and welcome to Todd versus, versus BBD. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Standard with Fate Reforged, and we're fresh back from the Pro Tour. Yeah. A little tired from uh, weeks of testing Modern and Draft, but now we get to go back to Standard. Yeah. We got uh, Grand Prix Memphis coming up, as well as a few other Standard tournaments. And so, uh, if you went to SCG Regionals, I hope that you had fun, and I hope that you played a really cool deck. But today is not about fun for any one other than me. I am playing <laughs> Mono Red Aggro. Brian, what are you playing? A deck that won't have fun because I'm playing against Mono Red Aggro, <laughs> but it could have been fun. Uh, I'm playing uh, actually a deck from Regionals. It's uh, Dave Shields uh, Jeskai mid-range deck. Okay. And it's, you know, everyone's been playing Jeskai with Jeskai Ascendancy lately, but this is uh, kind of hearkening back to the old school Jeskai, uh, Manus Rider, Rabble yeah. Master. So uh, I'm excited to give it a try. And yeah, I saw it on paper. It looks pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, I saw the old main deck Abzan Advantage. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that one, but, you know. Uh, even in matchups where it doesn't do anything, it still gets to bolster your Seeker of the Way or your Rabble Master. So it uh, seems like it could be pretty good. Anyway, guys, uh, let's hope that uh, these games are super quick because if they are, then um, that means I won. I mean, I could also win quick, though, too. Turn, turn two Seeker, turn three Mantis. That's true. All Bunch right, let's spells. hope that they're a little bit quicker than that. All right. <laughs> I'm All right. hoping they're a little slower. All right, let's fight. All right, we are here for game number one, and I was lucky enough to win the die roll. I, I think that's six in a row that it's, I've it's, lost it's against a high, you. It's a high a amount. A lot in a row. All right, well, this is the kind of hand that I would totally keep if I knew my opponent was playing mono red. So I'm going to keep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my hand is pretty great. I very much hope I draw on a Crown Crusader, so... Oh, I hope you can't beat a Mystic Monastery. Go. All right. That wasn't a bad draw. Go. Yeah, the old Foundry Street. Big old, big old, big founds. All right, I'm just going to oh, get man. Seeker of the Way out there. All right. That guy's kind of tough for me to beat, but uh, we'll play this, trigger this, and battle. Ooh, this is just an actual play. Yeah, we're not dashing him. I right. need to get some board presence against Seeker of the Way. If I just start dashing, it's... A bit loose. He's, he's not into the dash and bash. Yep. Prefers the play and get slashed. All right. uh, trigger this thing. Three. Yeah. Uh, so you're at 21, 21 and I'm at 17. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and scry with temple and hmm. I think I'm actually gonna bottom this card because we already have one of those and yeah, we're looking for something a little more meaty. Meaty. Yeah, meaty is a good word. All right. A pro crusader. Uh, sure. Trigger. Yep. I will attempt a Dragon Mantle and trigger. All right, I'm going to slash it. How do you draw two wild slashes? I'm going to slash it. Damn. All right, well, I'll still get a goblin. You do, and I'm at or 20, because no, I have to take a pain. Yeah, so, and then I'll hit you for four. 18. Uh, excuse me? For four? Oh, because that thing's a 3-1? Yeah. Yeah, 16. I just saw a 1-1 one, one, and a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Talking <laughs> me. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. That's a tilt. Ooh, speaking of tilts for you, I just drew a. Hmm, how do I do? How do I want to do this? Yeah, uh, I guess I'll fetch fifteen. The planes. Riding dirty. We're not. Not no. We're not riding dirty. We're rappling dirty. Oh, that's good too. And I have to decide if I. I think I just actually attack you for three because I think I'm going to try to race you this game. I don't know if that's a wise strategy or not, but it is the one that I have decided to employ. <laughs> so uh, take three. Yeah, uh, 14 to 15. Yep, you're up. I would very much like to draw a land here. Don't do it. Didn't do it. No, nope, did not. This is a tilt. Hmm. One thing I love about playing against Mono Reds, Rebel Master is actually a reasonable body on D. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see that very often. Yeah. I mean, girl, look at that body. <laughs> Work out. <laughs> All right, we'll just stoke this guy. I don't want to gamble. And... Yeah, so you go. Yeah, gambling there would probably lead to lack of a future. So, <laughs> draw. Woo! Wee. <laughs> Woo -wee. This All has right. been quite a draw yes. from, from <laughs> Brian's deck. It has been a delight, you're up. <laughs> All 
All right, we're done. All right. <laughs> is this going to kill or? All right, I'm on the play here for game two, and this hand also looks pretty solid. Uh, hopefully, we don't get destroyed by Brian's removal spells. We'll see what happens. All right, well, this hand looks all right, so I'll keep it. All right, lead off with this dummy. Sure. Here we go. Lead off with this dummy. Go. Lucky. And now I can't do anything because he's going to wild slash me. All right, play this, trigger this. Sure. I'll attack for three. Take it. All right, 17. 17. Uh, go. All right, we're on the old not get there plan. Um, this is an interesting choice for us. I think we, I think we cast a seeker here. Okay, seventeen. You're up. Put it. Should be at sixteen. Oh yeah, because I took three. I was at seventeen. Yeah. Yep. All right. Actually, I'm gonna take a pain from this to cast. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I will drag him in on this draw card. Yep, you got it. I will attack with both these guys. I think I have to not block here, as unfortunate as that is. All right, I will tight drink this guy. Scry top. So, uh, so six, two, three, seven. Six, seven, yeah. Put All right. Nine. Yep. Here we go. All right, deck. I'm gonna need you to give me cards that are lands. That is not lands. Well, I think I just say go. Drop. All right, Blade Crusader. Yep. I will. Last turn. All right. Well, end of turn. I'll take a point and lightning strike that guy. Right, I'll stop this guy. Okay. You're at eight. Yep. Your go. Your go, Helm Smasher. All right. This thing. Go. Draw. Tilt. Draw. I will check with both. Well, I'll block here. Pop. Yep. You I take, take two. two. You're at six. Yep. And sure go. All right. Draw. A. This is a tough one. I think I actually just have to play this. So I could very easily die here, but I go to four. Okay. And I'll attack you for three. Yep. I'm at 17. You're up. Dead to a lot of things. Land? You're at four. Could just dash. Deal him one, make him block the Marty Scout. Oh no, I guess he could eat this and take three down to one. Hmm. Alright, draw a card. Sure. Um, I think I'm okay trading this here. Right. Tech. Block. Yep. Oh. Okay. And this guy. Here we go. Alright. Draw. A land would be a delight. For you? Yes. Would I be a dead light? <laughs> You'd be dead in a number of ways. <laughs> All right. Well, I. Oh uh, God. Okay. I think that. I think I actually again want to get this thing going. <laughs> so uh, another Manus Rider. I got a three. Yeah. Attack you. Sure. Uh, fourteen. Go. How do you want to die? However, best kills me. I don't know. All right. 
Dash. Sure. Dash. Sure. Attack. Murderous cut. One of your Marty scouts. Okay. All right. <laughs> Stuck you. <laughs> no resolves. All right, so we'll start with me since I have a lot of junk coming in. Uh, so my sideboard plan against any sort of uh, red base deck is generally uh, Hordling Outburst and Hall of Triumph since they're going to try to one-for-one one me and will probably also have uh, something that generates tokens like their own Hordling Outbursts or uh, they may even have like Arc Lightning or even uh, uh, Scouring Sands. Yeah. So uh, having a second Hall of Triumph to come in uh, as, as well as the Hordling Outburst gives you a lot of staying power against their sweeper effects so that uh, if they sweep like your early guys, you have a good backup with these with the halls. Uh, since most decks are also going to be trying to lower their curve and interact with you earlier in the game, uh, I found that Eidolon works great against them because if they put an emphasis on Eidolon, usually that means uh, some other creature is going to uh, be able to get through, uh, as well as being a lightning rod for removal spells gives you uh, an opening to play your dragon mantles and titan strengths on your other creatures. Uh, we're bringing uh, these 12 in and cutting... Uh, Founder Tree Denizen and Fire Drinker Crusader because they're usually pretty bad against decks that have a lot of tokens. And then uh, cutting four Hammer Hands since uh, these are really only good against the green decks, I think. so. Okay, as for myself, uh, I'm definitely cutting Disdainful Stroke, Abzan Advantage, and three Valor Stances for sure because it's really hard to get value out of these cards mm -hmm. in the matchup. And uh, I definitely wanted to bring in some number of these cards. And I decided to also cut the Sarkins as well since they're pretty slow. And I'm bringing in uh, Angers to sweep his guys. And Hostilities is another sweeper, even though it's really actually not very good against Mono Red. It still can get the job done when I need it to. It's actually pretty decent against the my version, too, since I'm bringing in the Hordling Outbursts. And the game's yeah. going to... I'm trying to make the game go a little bit longer, but not by much. Yeah, it negates the counter, uh, like, Dragon Mantles, Burn Spells, Hordling Outbursts, etc. And then a couple of Elspeths to go over the top and try to win the game with Elspeth, which is something I think that... Uh, if I can play Elspeth at a life total that's like between 8 and 12, I'll probably win the game. Yeah, for sure. So that is my game plan. All right, I'm on the play this game, and this hand's a little awkward, but I think it's still a keep, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Yeah, mine doesn't have a one drop, but I think that's okay after game one, uh, or sorry, in post-board games, and this hand is pretty solid, so we're going to keep it. All right, I'm going to start with the scry, and whew. Ooh, wait. That's an interesting one. I think that this card's actually like good against mono red, but I are I also already have one in my hand, and I don't want to overdo it, so I'm gonna actually bottom it. Go. Cool. I don't and... I don't do none of this frou frou scrap crap. All right, I'll scry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's the exact same card again. What do we? Is this a? It's a sale. Okay. It's the same card. All right. Well, you don't want three? I mean, if I knew it was gonna be three, I probably just take all of them. Uh, man. I feel like we're going to get Mantis Rider pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I'll bottom it again. We'll run All that. All right. It, that could be a big mistake. Eidolon. Yep. Go. This could be dangerous with the old Manti. Yep. Take two, you take three. Yep. So 18. 18 to 18. You're up. All right. I guess I'll just kill him. Taking two. Yeah, hit you for two. Uh, you're at 16, I'm at 15. Yep. Here we go. Rebel. Yep. Uh, you're at 14, I'm at 15. Yep. You're, well, you'll also be at 14. Yeah, 14 all. And I'm going to scry. Yep. I'll keep that on top. You're up. For what it's worth, it was Rebel. <laughs> oh, wow. I could have had three Rebels. Sure. All right, uh, two one. All right, tilt. All right, uh, twelve, 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 twelve apiece. Um, while he's tapped out, even though it's gonna deal me damage, I'm gonna cycle this. Go to ten and draw a card. Sure. Yeah, sure go. Yeah. How many cards are in? Four. All right, go. So he can't dig through time, which is good. I assume he's just going to kill my guy. Would never do that. Uh, we are at 10, though, so we do have to be a little wary of dying with, like, stoke the flames and junk. 
right. All right. Well, I assume most of my guys are going to die anyway. Uh, take two. Go to eight. Okay. Uh, move to beginning combat. All right. Now I have to make a decision. Um. I'll play this first. Sure, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. All right. Okay, I will attack for this many. No blocks. All right, bump this guy twice. Brian's going to try to kill me with burn spells. No. All right, so that's right now. I'd be taking five. Yes, I'm going to seven. Oof. And you have three cards in your hand. Yep. All right, I'm gonna lightning strike your idol on. Okay, you go to ten, ten to eight. Uh, I go to ten and then to nine. Sure. All right, you're nine. I'm eight. And yep. Sure, go. Drop the card on, the, on my lap and then pick up a different one. The wild slash that was sitting there. <laughs> Hide in there. <laughs> oh, lap slash. Yep, the old lap slash. Huh. All right, well, eight Elspeth. Oh, boy. That's uh, bad. I'm going to hope I don't lose. Let's make three soldiers. All right. Well, that's real bad. Near eight, you said? Yep. Well, that was delightful. Hall. Red. Yep. Uh, dash. Yep. Make a guy all at you. I will block to take you dash the scout, right? Yes. Uh, I will take two damage and block your other three. Okay. You're, You're at six. Yep. Eight to six. And this bounces. Yep. Go. And my tokens are all dead. Yeah, but I'm assuming that they're going to come right on back. <laughs> they certainly are going to do that. <laughs> all right. So untap. Draw. Well, that was a great draw. No. Stop it. Uh, and hostilities. Really? Really? Yeah. I actually already have the hostilities. Well, fine. That makes you feel better. Oh, uh, well, you said great draw, so I just assumed. But... Go. You know what they say when you assume? I don't know. Oh, you have negate also? Yeah. All right. That's great. That's awesome. We will play a Rabble Master. Okay. Uh, I don't really know what to do. I guess I'll just attack. Triple block. Sure. Kill two of them. Sure. And play scout. Sure go. Maybe we can keep the board clear of tokens so he can't really ultimate ever. But if he draws like a dick through time or a, a good removal spell, I think we'll be in trouble. All right, make a bunch of these and go. All right, draw. You're at six and I'm at eight. Yep. All right, so. All right, I will move to combat. Sure. All right. And I'm at. Eight, so an ultimate will kill me with three guys left to play. So I think I have to attack with all of them. Let's see if he kills this, you can triple block this. I'll take two. All right, attack you. Okay, uh, triple single wild slash martyr scouts. We messed up. Alright, All right. so you keep your goblin. Right. I will attempt to idle on. That resolves. I will... 
Pass turn, and on your upkeep, I will stoke you. That sucks. Um... I'm gonna get it. Okay. Take two down to four. Yep. I'm dead to another stoke, basically. Yeah. Eight to four. You're up. Alright, draw for turn. Uh, make three. Yep. Your turn. Don't stoke me, bro. Try to draw a card. I'll go to six. Did you draw stoke? No. Your second ball track. Nice. <laughs> Alright, uh, attack you with both. Uh, chump, chump. Okay. Uh, go. You don't know I drew a second hall, though. It could be anything. It's true. It could I be do. a Titan string. Yeah. For all you know. I'll pump this guy a bunch. Alright, uh, start with dig through time. Yuck. Six, seven. All right, I'll take this and this, I guess. So you're at six right now? Yep. I think we just go for the kill, to be honest. Like, so. Uh, ultimate Elspeth. Yep. Attack you. Yeah, I'm at three. Lightning strike you. Yep. Done. Yep. All right, so after playing three games and seeing zero copies of Hordling Outburst, I think it's safe to assume that it's not in his deck, and because I know his deck list, but I was playing like I didn't. Anyway, uh, for the play, I'm going to be bringing in a couple more Founder Shree Denizens and a couple Magma Sprays because I don't really want to use my Stoke the Flames to kill Rival Master or Seeker of the way. I'll yep. have to save those for his dome at the end of the game. Uh, so we're going to bring in a couple of these, and since these are a little slow, uh, well, I guess slow is strong, but they're they're kind of slow in our deck, I guess. But uh, they just don't feel that good uh, in this matchup. I don't really know how else to, to say it, but uh, basically going to lower our curve a little bit. So Okay. All right, I'm on the play here for game four, and this hand looks pretty saucy. This hand looks okay. It's not fantastic, but I'm definitely keeping it. All right, start with Crusader. All right, well, that's... Probably not what I want to see. Go. Oh, I don't have anything to combo with it yet. Uh, battle and uh, idle on. Okay, here you go. All right. Well, I'm just gonna play a seeker. Taking two. Yep. Here. So you're at 17. Yep. Well, it's a little awkward, but I think we want to do this. Uh, Magma spray. Take two. Attack you for three down to fourteen. Okay, go. All right. Well, I think that we have to just take two. Play rabble. All right. So twelve. Yep. Attack uh, you. No. Sixteen. <coughs> Straight out of this game. You're up. Yeah. Guess I should probably just bring in the other one. <laughs> Only brought in the two. I uh, hit you down to nine. Yep. I don't... I think he would have cast Anger last turn if he had it, so we're just going to play this Hordling Outburst and take two down to 14. Sure. And hope he doesn't have it. Scry. Yep. Uh, it's this. We don't need that land, so I'm going to just bottom that. Go. All right. Clear attacks. Yep. Six you. All right. That three. All right. Go. We're going to get in hostilities, I assume. Maybe not. That is a reasonable assumption. <laughs> Otherwise, you would have conceded by Go. now. Go. <laughs> All right. Well, Stoke Flames off the top would be great. I guess that is not terrible, but... That will actually do some serious work against my hand. Draw...
Go. Alrighty. Route master. I'm done. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I had a uh, mulligan to six as my opening hand just didn't have lands, but uh, I'm going to keep this one. It's not great, but it's probably a keep. Uh, my seven is pretty good. Hopefully we can grind through all his removals. All right, play this. Sure. Go. All right, well, I feel like I am obligated to just kill it right now and not let him target it. You're up. Fine. Sure. Right, trigger. All right, get a guy, draw a card, attack for one. 19. Here you go. Those are not the draws we're looking for. You're up. I almost made an Obi-Wan Kenobi joke, but <laughs> I don't know if anyone would have gotten it. <laughs> Well, my hand is pretty stacked, I guess. I don't really know. All right. I'm going to play this deck. No blocks. Take two. Okay. Uh, 17. I'm going to play a Whirling Outburst and get angered, I guess. But okay. Negate. Sure. Negate's good. Well, I'll slash that guy. All right. Cool. I'll play Rep. Sure. Trigger. Yep. Attack for two. Fifteen. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Go. Come on, deck. That's the worst possible. Bottom. You're up. All right. Tax deck. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh. Seven. Um. Ten. You. All right, I take ten. All right, I get the scry. I'm at five. We'll bottom this land. And did you top or bottom last turn? Bottom. All right. Well, he's probably got in hostilities in hand. I don't think we really need to put anything else on the board. So I'll just say go. I think there is roughly a 0% chance I survive, but I'll stoke the flame to Rebel Master and say go. Well, it's not zero. Okay. I don't have it in hand. All I got is these stupid hordling outbursts. But two. All right. So if you play Seeker and then, like, I don't know, like a counterspell, I don't actually know. But since I have this other hordling, I think I'll just make three guys and hope that he doesn't harass me. All right, I'm dead. Okay. Uh, two digs, uh, another stoke, and a seeker. Well, I think that went about how I expected it. Uh, all the games, close were, games. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if one person stumbled, I feel like that that was like a big turning point, you know. Um, or if like I flooded out, like then I was in a lot of trouble or whatever. And this deck has trouble with flooding sometimes. Uh, you There's do no muta vault since standard anymore, right? Since you don't have access to muta vault, you basically just have to find weird ways to use all your mana. Uh, like things like dragon mantle are good. Um, you know, just like emptying your hand or having the turns where you get to reset after, uh, like you have to hold back like two spells or whatever while your opponent like plays their sweeper effect and then find the spot to deploy like your next two things on the same turn. But uh, for the most part, um, mono red's mono red. Uh, hammer hands aren't really great in this matchup. They're way better against like siege rhino decks or, or whatever. Uh, so we didn't really get to see a lot of sweet hammer hand action. But uh, I do like my sideboard plan of like just two Hall of Triumphs and the Hoyling Outburst. But I think that actually might be better main deck than Goblin Rabble Master since this deck doesn't have that much spot removal. Like we don't have Searing Bloods, Lightning Strikes, even uh, Wild Slashes. So it makes it harder to actually get Goblin Rabble Master, you know, like the train going. But um, I mean, he is good just because he's good. Like if your opponent stumbles, they die. So. I mean, Outburst is also great with Foundry Street down as an and Stoke the Flames. Yeah, and even Monastery Swiss Spear as well. So. Yeah. So, yeah, so uh, keep an eye out for that. I'll probably be doing a Magic Online video uh, later this week, I believe. Um, maybe with Mono Red. I might have jumped on a different deck by then. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but, Brian, what would you, you think about yours? I mean, it seems sweet. I mean, it was just a, a pretty standard Jeskai deck. Um, 
Wild Slash looked great. Yeah, Wild Slash seemed great. I mean, especially in this kind of a matchup. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I like the Wild Slashes. Uh, I think Mantis Rider is like pretty well positioned right now as well. Um, definitely a reason to play a style of deck like this. A lot of people are just playing green decks that don't interact that well with it. So I, I think that maybe Mantis Rider's time to shine is back. Yeah, I mean, um, when people are focusing too much on two toughness creatures, like Seeker, Soulfire Grandmaster, Monster Mentor, uh, you know, there's there's just like people playing a lot of Wild Slash in these red decks main deck, right? And yes, yeah, some of them play Lightning Strike, but some of them don't. And uh, when people are like targeted on two damage and four damage, the sweet spots, the, the three threes. So I think that uh, Manus Rider actually could just be insane. And maybe the same goes for Sidisi as well. Uh, just these high powered, cheap, aggressive three, you know, toughness creatures might be really strong right now. So yeah, I agree with that. All right, guys. Well, that's all for me and Brian today. Be sure to check out more versus videos on Wednesday and Friday, as well as all of our articles up during the week. Um, I don't know. That's all I got. You got anything else? I do now. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. See you.